Today, we're gonna learn how to make things look worse, but in a good way. This is a simple effect that will let you go from this to this, kind of this nice pixelated effect. It's really easy, but I had kind of a hard time figuring out how to do this, and I think maybe other people would too. My name's Casey. I teach content creators how to make amazing things in Fusion. I also have a free Fusion survival guide. It's available in the description below. Let's pixelate. So if you're like me, you think that if I'm gonna pixelate something, I just need to make it a lower resolution, right? And so you can do that a few different ways. One way, if I hit shift space bar here, I can type resize and I can bring in resize and I could make this, you know, 32 pixels by 32 pixels and then scale this thing up with the transform. But look what happens, it looks terrible, goodness me. And you can change the filter method to something like box or nearest neighbor and it will help it a little bit, but it won't be that nice crisp pixelation that you want. It just looks blurry and junky. And so to get this kind of pixelated look that looks nice, we're gonna use a effect called Mosaic Blur, M-O-S-A-I-C. Grab that from the Select Tool dialog and hit Add. And now look at this. Now we have that nice kind of crisp feeling pixelation that's just so much nicer. We also have a few different controls here. The pixel frequency will change the resolution essentially. And the more you go down, the bigger the pixels are. And it doesn't just do pixelation. You can even do something like hexagon and that'll give you some really cool effects. You can even do something like this and make a motion background that's a little bit more abstract. You know we're gonna be using something like this in the future. That's really nice. We can even do triangles. Look at that, we kind of have this fractal background. Oh baby, I'm gonna make a fractal background video. You know that's gonna happen, because that's cool. Switch this back to square for now. We can also adjust the aliasing and I'll just push up the pixel frequency a little bit. You'll see that we have these kind of halfway opaque pixels on the edge. If I mess with the aliasing, that's going to turn those down so that we don't have those kind of in-between pixels. We can turn it up and it basically becomes more blurry and turn it down to kind of have those sharper edges. So if we want that nice kind of GIF sort of look, there it is. But what's really cool about this is that we don't have to do this in a destructive way. This is all procedural, right? And so I could take something like this logo and adjust the colors and it'll make that adjustment before I run it through this mosaic blur, which I can turn off or on at any point. And so if you wanna make kind of a pixel art looking logo, that is a great way to do it. So much fun, so much freedom to be able to uh, make things like this. If we twirl down the advanced controls, you can adjust the aspect to get wider pixels. You can adjust the X or Y offset to get a little bit different effect here. Yeah, man, sky's the limit. This is a pretty cool effect. And I just thought probably nobody knows about this. And now you do. Hey, if you're a content creator just getting into Fusion, make sure to check out the Fusion Survival Guide. It's a free video course and it's my top tips for learning Fusion and working in Fusion and doing a good job with that. Oh boy. Hey, do you like this kind of video where I jump in and explore one tool? Well, why don't you let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make more if you like it. Or if you don't, maybe I won't make any more. Or maybe I will just to be crazy, just to get wily. Cause you know, that's what I do sometimes.